Hello and welcome to the Gang Gordon Show today's Best Country Mix. And joining me right here today is the one and only Christopher Martinez. Christopher, how are you? Hi, how's it going? How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much for being here today. No problem. So excited to speak with you. Oh, it's my pleasure. And um, to get started, you know, kind of tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm from uh, New Jersey. Uh, I'm oh. currently in high school. I'm a senior, graduating mm -hmm. soon. Um, and I currently play Hurley in Nickelodeon's Warped, uh, who's a very lazy employee at OK Pizza, uh, <laughs> but he's a great heart, uh, loves his friends. Um, and yeah, I'm very into uh, photography. I'm going to be studying film and television production in college. Uh, so that's a little fun fact about me. But yeah, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. Also, um, how did you like being in Warped? I know that the season finale was last week or whatever, but how did you like being in it? Yeah, we had our season finale last week, which was wild that everything mm -hmm. aired already. Uh, we had 13 yeah. episodes air. Um, but oh, it was probably one of the best experiences in my life. Um, I had grew such a great bond with the four of them, um, Kate, Ariana, and Anton. Mm -hmm. uh, they became like best friends to me. Um, I learned so much. I mean, we were on a soundstage, which was a first for me. I had never really done a project on a soundstage. Um, and especially being on a Nickelodeon show, that's, that was my childhood. Grew up with that show, like iCarly <laughs> and Victorious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um so it was such a such a pleasure to be on it and get to interact with the four of them and create some comedy and bring these characters to life that's awesome and um have you been any other have you been in any other acting like any I other have. shows I, um i did theater for a long time so i did the mm -hmm. radio city christmas spectacular which is in oh New wow mm -hmm. uh, which was wild getting to sing on radio on the radio city music hall stage mm -hmm. um i'm a huge theater nerd uh, a, lot of theater, a lot of theater uh, things is what I got into. Um, did uh, shows like Blue Bloods, um, NYC 22, which was another CBS cop show. Mm -hmm. um, and I did a Disney Plus movie called Simi Failure, which is, uh, I think was oh. 2020. I was a uh, supporting character in that, which was also wild. I mean, all, all these experiences, just getting to like uh, reflect on them and see them. It's pretty, pretty cool to see how everything unfolds. I have to agree, and I really think that it's really cool that you're going to college for this, too. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. I've always been interested in things, like, behind the camera, mm -hmm. just as much as I am of, uh, like, acting and everything in front of the camera. So I'm excited to get into learning, directing, screenwriting, and mm -hmm. seeing how everything goes goes into it, because I see how awesome our uh, creative team on work mm -hmm. is, and all the writers and the producers, um, and I always watch and look at and admire all the work they're doing. It's so really excited to learn about that stuff. Not only is it exciting, but it's also really cool because, you know, that's how they make, you know, movies come and television shows come to life. So, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's a, it's a crazy process. Mm -hmm. So getting to dive it into it and seeing everything from the pre-production all the way to post-production mm -hmm. and how wild of a journey one, one episode or one film will go on. And from what I was, you know, kind of told and from what I've seen from doing interviews, it takes a while to do an episode. It does. I know for us, it um, mm -hmm. we usually had a schedule of Monday to Friday, and Monday mm -hmm. we would receive our scripts over the weekend, mm -hmm. um, and we would reflect on them. We would uh, review them and see what we can do with them. And Monday morning we would usually have a table read mm -hmm. with everybody. And Tuesday was a started blocking on the sound stage and then doing a run through mm -hmm. of it. Wednesday was another run through, and Thursday and Friday was usually when we taped our episodes. So we would take Thursday and Friday to get through the episode and get all the scenes done, and Monday, everything starts again. That's really cool. And uh, how long did it take you guys to get throughout the whole um, episode of, or the whole series, if you don't mind me asking? Um, yeah, no, we started in about mid-July of 2021, and we went through to November 2021. Um, we had filmed our pilot originally in December, I believe, of 2020. Um, so when we got picked up for the 13 episodes, we started doing the new episodes in the middle of July mm -hmm. in the summer in Los Angeles. Um, so yeah, it took about, what is that? July, August, September, it was about five months to get through. Yeah, that. but that's about five months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it got, uh, took that long to get through the 13 episodes. So yeah, it was, it was an awesome thing. I got to go out to Los Angeles for that, uh, for the mm -hmm. time being, which was my first time being out there. Um, so I loved it out there, but yeah, it's, it was pretty cool. That's really cool. And for, for those who have not seen Warped yet, what can you tell them about it from your perspective? Uh, Warped is a, is a wild series about, um, like these friends who, always going on these crazy adventures. There's Ruby and Milo who are creating the greatest graphic novel. Um, and they're kind of these polar opposites who uh, have very different personalities, but they use their creative interests to uh, make this amazing graphic novel. Um, mm -hmm. Then there's Hurley and Darby 
um, I play Hurley, and they usually mm -hmm. uh, support them in anything they can, and have whatever, whatever situation there is. There's always we always try to help them get out of them as best as we can. Um, my character is in love with food, so you if you uh, you'll see in most episodes anything any solution he has will involve food. Um, we have an episode where I created the world's greatest albondiga, which is how you say meatball in Spanish. Mm -hmm. um, so we created this crazy meatball, and we ended up using it to our advantage to help the conflict of the episode, which was the the mall was getting overrun by raccoons. Um, mm -hmm. So Hurley, his bright idea was to, uh, well, it was I think it was like Milo's idea, but uh, Hurley they used uh, the meatball to mm -hmm. help uh, get rid of the raccoons. You know, the writing there, just from you hearing that from your perspective, your the writing there is just great. Just from well, hearing yeah. that. It, it was I mean, that's that was one of the joys. Another like another mm -hmm. one of the joys of getting to see um all the writing that they, they do. Um and I was always fascinated that they're writing at the same time that they're writing um a, like mm -hmm. a sitcom on Nickelodeon, they're also writing the graphic novel that Ruby and Milo are gonna make. Absolutely. Um, public. Mm -hmm. And I, I thought that was really cool how they're they're like double writing stuff. Um but yeah, I mean I was I'm a huge fan of their work and getting to see their script uh with my eyes and getting to perform it with them is really cool. And it's also admirable too because you know that stuff takes a long time depending on what you're doing but it could take a long time. It does take a long time to write. Um I'm not completely sure how long it takes for them to write mm -hmm. these episodes but um all I know is that there's there's obviously there's a lot of hard work that goes into it. Um so it's a privilege to get to to read it. Mhm. Mm it sure is. So do you uh have anyone that you could choose if you could choose anyone to act with who would you choose and why Ooh, who would i choose to act with ah um see i'm a i'm i i love tom holland tom holland's really cool uh he, mm -hmm. he has a really cool accent too um so i think he, he seems like a really cool person to work with um yeah him uh lin-manuel miranda you know those, those mm -hmm. people i mean i i think it would just be, I mean, getting to watch their work. I'm a huge fan of Spider-Man and Tick, Tick, Boom mm -hmm. and Hamilton. Obviously, big theater nerd. Yeah, uh, yeah. So getting to getting to work with them would be really cool. Uh, yeah, I, I think there's there's probably a whole list of different actors. Um, I, I guess like director, maybe like Christopher Nolan. Mm -hmm. Um, he's he's my all-time favorite director. So yeah, there's a big list of them. But I think I think those those guys are at the top. Yeah. Do you have any advice to anyone who uh, kind of wants to jump in? to becoming an actor and an actress, but doesn't really know where to start or where to begin? For sure, yeah. I was in school, I was a big uh, participant in the school shows and mm -hmm. uh, I was in the school band. Mm -hmm. Any, any, Anything that would spark creative interest for me and exercise the creative side of my mind, I would always uh, jump to it. Um, I started doing the school shows in elementary school. We did a uh, Hairspray Junior, which is what we did when oh. I was in fifth grade. Mm -hmm. I played Corny Collins, he was like a, he was like a fun mm -hmm. like TV show host. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I would say try to do whatever you can to get yourself involved, uh, whether it just be the local theater, the, the band, I played the clarinet, um, anything that really gets you to exercise that. Um, that was really what got me through elementary school and middle school was arts. Um, so if you, if you want to get involved in this, I think that's, that's how you climb it and you try to get yourself involved in all those different stages. That is, that's really good advice. Hey, you think, yeah, I try. Um, yeah. You know, I think I, that's, that's something that I, I was luckily to, lucky to be around a lot of mm -hmm. people who have that uh, great interest. I'm in high school right now, so I major mm -hmm. in musical theater. Okay. Um, so I, it's about like twelve of us in this major, and we're all like we're all very into musical theater. So getting to be surrounded by people who are just as interested mm -hmm. in that is also really cool, because um, they also have a huge love for the arts. That's really cool. And um, you said you were from New Jersey, right? Do you go to school in New Jersey, or do you do a school in LA, or how does that work? I am from New Jersey. I do go to, okay. I go to school in person uh, at a regular mm -hmm. high school in New Jersey. Um, I, I love Los Angeles. I, after being there during production, like I, mm -hmm. I fell in love with Los Angeles. So hopefully we can get out there soon. I mean, it's raining today here in Jersey. And oh, is it? I think, uh. I think it was like the opposite in Los Angeles. I heard it was like a heat wave or something going on over there. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's one thing I'm not a fan of here is the weather. But um, yeah, no, born and raised in New Jersey. Uh, and yeah, all my family here. So love Jersey. Well, that's really cool, considering that a lot of people actually that, that are down there, they actually go to school down there, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, uh, there's a bunch of schools in Los Angeles. I remember when we were down there, I was, I was looking at high schools. I was like, all right, which high school can I go to if I were to go to school in Los Angeles? Um, but yeah, yeah. no, um, I'm currently in high school, and 
done all my school out here. So yeah, when mm-hmm. I, during production we tutored, so I would do oh, Zoom okay. school, kind of like what was happening during the pandemic. Um, right. And I would do Zoom school and get the work from New Jersey, and it would uh, be over in Los Angeles, and that's how I got through the first couple months of my senior year. Oh, that's cool. That's actually how I was gonna ask you, like how how did that work with like you know you having to go down there and everything. So. Yeah, I mean, luckily I was able to have very supportive teachers, um, and they all would supply the work that I needed to to get through the first couple quarters of school, and I had great onset teachers who always helped me with anything I needed. And it was obviously because it's senior year, it's college applications, so there's mm-hmm. a lot of stuff mm-hmm. going on. But yeah, it was a cool balance between working on the show and then working on uh, schoolwork. That's awesome. So where can people find you on social media platforms if they want to follow you, Christopher? Um, I'm mainly active on my Instagram, which is it's underscore Chris Martinez. That's where I'm mainly active. Um, okay. I have a Facebook page, which is Chris Martinez. Um, but I, you'll see most of my posts and most everything about me on my Instagram. That's awesome. And do you have a message for anyone that is listening, watching this? Yeah, I something that I always, uh, something that my parents always brought me up with is just being yourself and being you and knowing that mm-hmm. you're special, knowing that you have something to bring to this world. And um, that's something that I've always, advice I've always been surrounded with my life. And I think it's important for everybody to know that uh, they all bring something special here mm-hmm. and whatever it is, whatever field you want to get into that you have to put yourself to it, put your mind to it, and you can achieve whatever you want. That is, that is just so true. Hey, yeah, that's very I, I true. Think, I think it's, it's great to hear, uh, great to have that stuff out there and, uh i hope it hits people as hard as it hit me like like when people tell me that i mean i i always carry that with me every day i agree i agree is there anything that i forgot that you like to bring up before we uh hop off christopher um not much i mean i hope everybody uh gets to watch warped whenever they can we did just have our season finale air last week um but all 13 episodes are available to watch uh so go watch them that's awesome thank you so much to christopher martinez for joining us right here on the gang gordon show Today's Best Country Mix. We appreciate your time so much for being here. Thank you so much, Caden. I had a blast.